All right, so I had a few people wanted some more recommendations and I was totally happy to give you all my opinion, which probably shocks many of you, but anyway. Um, but I couldn't really decide which things to tell you about because when I went to Priceline today, things were on special. So I had thought I was going to show you one thing and then I bought other things and I thought, you know what, why don't I make it a quick five minute video rather than a one minute Instagram video, which doesn't really tell you much. I've talked too fast and yeah, I'll try and keep it to five minutes. So the two things I'm going to show you today, oh, there's more than two things. I'm going to show you a few different things. First of all is, because I've been kind of raving the, about these to my friends and family for a while and fairly well selling it to them every time we're in Priceline is makeup brushes. Now I went to say that makeup brushes is kind of a new thing for me as far as um, like how much you know that I'm, it being a thing that I'm into. Does that make sense? Like as in yeah makeup brush I'll just grab whatever but I bought I realized when I was thinking about doing this thing my first set of awesome makeup brushes when I was still in Queensland that's going back about four years, maybe even five, because I reckon it might have been the first year that we were there. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about the Real Techniques um, brushes that you can buy at Priceline, which really when it comes to brushes is quite affordable um, in that if you go to places like, um, you know, Mecca or um, Mac or something like that, they're charging a lot for makeup brushes whereas anything you can buy in a camp like in Priceline to me is awesome one because you can buy it anywhere um, but usually it's going to be pretty affordable and the other thing I really like about Real Te Technique brushes is that they're always on sale so that's why I wanted to show them today because they're 25% off in Priceline um, so my collection has grown a little bit but I'll tell you how before Adam starts crying when he watches this video this is my current oh, fluff, just wash them all collection here. And then I've just bought this one at Priceline today. Now I thought I didn't actually use all of these on a day-to-day -day basis until we went away recently and I like was putting the brushes in my makeup bag oops, um, as I used them. So I knew what I needed when I got there and uh, yeah, pretty much put them all in there. So um, they're just really, the thing I like about them is that, like even though it'll tell you this is a, what's this one? This is a concealer brush. It doesn't really matter what you use them for, like you can sort of interchange them for different things, which I absolutely, absolutely love. Um, but it, it was one of the biggest steps into getting really into makeup and actually really enjoying it because when I started using a brush that worked really well, I went like I started to appreciate my makeup more because it went on really nicely and it's kind of fun. Um, the other thing I learned, so as I said to you, I bought my first set. So yeah, they bring out packs and stuff like this all the time, which is a really good way to start. So this pack here today is like $35. Now for three decent brushes is a really, really good price. And what I did, the very first brushes I bought came in a set like this. Can't actually remember which ones they were now. Um, it was a travel set. Uh, it lasted me, you know, I didn't have to buy another brush for quite a while because I was sort of just learning how to use those ones and get used to it. So that was really cool. And then um, every time I saw that they were having a sale, I'd just buy another one. So, you know, but, and that's how my collection has grown. So there's a few more in here that I haven't sort of washed, so I wasn't going to show you. Now, if I had to choose one that's the best, their powder setting brush is awesome. I think I've used this one in that Maybelline. Do you remember? Oh, I think it's a really good, like, um, you know, you can use this for foundation. Sometimes I just pump my foundation and reveal. And then you use the same brush for the concealer. And then I probably use this. Well, it doesn't tell me what it is, but this is like an eyeshadow, like base eyeshadow ones. Probably my three favourites. Oh, but I like this one too. Anyway, I'm excited to try the fan one and this um, setting brush too for like powder in the little bits here just because my eye bags are getting out of control. So yeah, you can buy these. Um, the Melbourne, if you ever over in Melbourne, the Burke Street price line has the best range and they have so many, like so many different packs and things like that. I just think it's a really good way to start if you want to buy brushes. Anyway, lots of you be like brushes, whatever. Um, but I rate it. I love it. Love my makeup brushes. So that's that one. Um, 
so yeah, 25% off the price line. The other one, because I was talking to some girls at work about this the other day, now I feel a little bit mean showing you this next one because you can't actually buy it. Oh no, that's tr not true. You can buy it in the city at the moment. You'll soon be able to buy it at Marion Shopping Centre when they open their new Mecca Maxima. I'm actually obsessed with this stuff at the moment. Like, it's saving my life. Because I think if anybody saw my Instagram thing about the um, Lush... Um, what's it called? You know, like the face mask. My, my skin is so dry at the moment. I'm blaming air conditioning, heating, everything. It's just so dry. And I get like really oily, which you probably see at the moment because of the light coming from outside. And then I get like dry patches and it does my head in. So often what I'll do to sort of touch my makeup or, um, is I'll grab one of my Real Techniques brushes, bit of powder, do it in the sort of um, oily bits like that. And then I get this magical spray. So it's the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. Love this stuff. And then I can spray it all over. That's what I love about this product. So it's $9. Everybody raves about this. I actually found this on like YouTube beauty blogger videos and all of the rest of it. And I was like, mm. but I absolutely love it. It's so freshening. I use it before and after I wash my face, when I wake up in the morning as a toner, when, as soon as I get out of the shower, if I'm hot, if I'm skin's dry. It's like multi-purpose awesomeness. Um, as I said, nine bucks, which is actually really good for something. But And um, Mecca and Mecca Maxima will sell it. Um, and Mecca Maxima is opening in October at uh, Marion Westfield. So, so excited. I actually took a selfie in front of the Mecca sign and then thought that was, realised that was lame, so I didn't post it. Um, but I did look up where you can buy this if you want a rose water spray, because quite a few places do do it. And there is a... Natio version of it. It's a face mist that's um, infused with rose petals, um, which you can get at any chemist. Priceline have it, Midas have it, David Jones has it, everywhere has it. So um, I just really like them. The other one, oop, rolling it on the floor, is the um, this is a rose water infused all day setting spray that you can get at Sports Girl. I think this is about, oh no, it's on about $15. That's really nice as well. So I don't I find this probably doesn't set my makeup as well as this one does, but this is sort of good once you've set your makeup once, like for the morning. This is really nice just to freshen up during the day. So I definitely need to get some more of this so I can have one in my bag, particularly for work. When you're in air conditioning all day long, your face is just dry as a chip. It's gross. So they're this one. So yeah, let me just show you these again. Probably not focusing on them just so if you want to look at them. And the last thing I was going to show you, this is a bit of a, I actually watched a really cool um, tutorial by Tanya Burr. So she's an English blogger. For, I don't actually I don't think I've read her blog, but I've seen it come across her um, YouTube channel. And she did this really, really nice, um, like, just simple glowy eye which I was like well that's actually kind of good for every day so um, it's and it's Rimmel and I love Rimmel and I use their foundation for all seasons all everything it's affordable it's a price line fave chemist warehouse often have like you know standard 15% off or 25% off or whatever it is so um, I went down there and I got the gold record Rimmel eyeshadow so just which is really really lovely but I paired and paired it because it was recommended to me with this Rimmel um, Magnifi Magnifies it's fancy uh, in the shade oh. I don't know what it is no oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh. oh no here we go Queens of the Bronze Stage um, so it's got just this little gold tippy thing which is nice for lining and then like a cool really nice dark one that's good for blending and I've just been using them together every day for like which is what I'm wearing at the moment um, and it's really nice because I um, recently bought one of the Too Faced Eye Shadow Palettes which I absolutely love. They're not cheap and I was starting to get worried I was using them all for just like every day and I didn't want to use it up too quickly so it was just kind of nice to have something that's a bit more affordable every day that I can replace and then something I can use for if I'm going out. So they are my recommendations, well not even recommendations, just things that I really really like. Some of which, you know, as I said, 
some people aren't going to be interested in brush and makeup brushes, but I know that a lot of people are, and uh, manage to be able to get people to buy them every time in <laughs> price line with them because I'm like, you've got to check these brushes out, they're the best. The rose water sprays, I'm sure there's heaps of different brands that do them, um, you know, or something similar, and uh, yeah, the Rimmel eyeshadow palettes. Bye!